How to Become an Immigration Officer An immigration officer is a government employee who enforces laws relating to immigration, borders, and customs. As specialized law enforcement agents, immigration officers are required to have both basic police skills and specific knowledge of international trade and immigration issues. Although risky, this line of employment can be rewarding and comes with good job benefits, including early retirement. Part 1 Meeting Job Qualifications 1. Spend some time in the United States. To be an immigration officer you not only need to be a U.S. citizen, you must have spent three of the past five years in the United States. If you have been abroad for a while, you might need to spend some time in the country before applying. 2. Obtain a valid driver's license. You will need a valid driver's license to apply. You will also need to maintain a clean driving record. Be safe and careful while driving. 3. Stay out of trouble. In addition to having a clean driving record, you also need a clean criminal record. As with most law enforcement, certain misdemeanor infractions can be excused, but felonies will immediately disqualify you. Either way, the cleaner your record, the more competitive your application will be. 4. Maintain physical fitness. Immigration officers might be required to chase and apprehend people much as a police officer would. When applying, you will be asked to perform a physical fitness test to determine your edibility. Your training should prepare you to perform push-ups and endurance cardio. Do not push yourself so hard that you get hurt and disqualify yourself from the job. Slowly work up to more rigorous exercise regimes. 5. Obtain a bachelor's degree in a relevant field. As an immigration officer, you will be required to read and understand the laws that you enforce. To be qualified, you should complete a four year degree, preferably in a field that pertains to government or public service. Good options include political science, criminal justice, and homeland security. 6. Learn more languages. In the course of your job, you will be required to interact with people who do not speak English. Speaking a second, or even third, language could be an important asset and give you a huge leg up when applying for a job. To prove your fluency, you should try to take language courses while in college. If you have already graduated, consider taking additional language courses at a local community college. You will have proof that you have mastered the subject and course fees are typically low. 7. Stay mentally alert. You will be required to take a written test similar to the SAT when applying to work as an immigration officer. The test will ask you to interpret text, perform basic mathematical functions, and correct grammatical mistakes. Read complex texts, perhaps high literature, on a regular basis so that you have practice understanding difficult language. You should be able to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, operations with fractions and mixed numbers, percentages, ratios, proportions, probability problems, rate problems, averages. You should also be able to solve for unknown quantities, answer word problems, and calculate area. 8. Work for the federal government. Preference in hiring is given to applicants who have experience working with the federal government, the military, VISTA, and the Peace Corporation. Veterans and federal employees with at least three years consecutive experience get lifetime preference. In contrast, Peace Corp volunteers get one year's preference and Peace Corp employees get three years non-competitive eligibility. Less than three years consecutive experience of federal employment qualifies you for three years reinstatement eligibility. 9. Don't wait too long. To become an immigration officer you must be under 40 years of age. You can continue working after that age, however, you must begin your term of employment by the age of 39.
Part 2 Applying to be Immigration Officer 1. Search User Jobs User Jobs is the online hub for employment opportunities with the federal government. Search Immigration and read all vacancy announcements with care. 2. Apply through User Jobs Apply to be either a special agent, a deportation officer, or a detention and deportation officer, depending on your interests. Once you have picked a position, follow the directions on the User Jobs website. Fill out all elements of the application completely and honestly. Special agents are engaged in a variety of law enforcement issues, including criminal and terrorist investigations, and generally work in the field. Deportation officers tend to focus on immigration issues and violations of immigration law, and often conduct research in an office. Detention and deportation officers focus on removal operations. 3. Take the written test. If you make it to the next phase of the process, you will be asked you to complete a series of tests that establish your eligibility. The written test is composed of three parts, arithmetical reasoning, logical reasoning, and writing skills. In the logical reasoning test, you will be asked to interpret complex texts. You should always assume that the text is correct. Never bring outside knowledge to the question. Your answer should be based exclusively on what you have been assigned to read in the question. The arithmetical reasoning test will require you to answer questions pertaining to addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, mixed numbers, proportions, ratios, and area. You will also be asked to complete word problems. The writing skills test will ask you to correct grammatical errors. In order to do this, you should understand the way that parts of speech and clauses are properly used. There is no penalty for guessing wrong. You should pick an answer for every question, even if you are unsure about the correct answer. 4. Sit for the oral examination. The oral exam will assess your interest in the position and suitability for law enforcement work. It will evaluate your communication skills, emotional maturity, reporting ability, and attention to detail. You will also be provided with a photograph and asked to write a narrative report. The report will be judged according to organization, ideas, and grammar. 5. Pass the medical exam. You will be required to take a medical test that includes sight and hearing. Bring medical information with you to the physical examination. 6. Take your fitness exam. The pre-employment fitness test is composed of three parts. It will be administered at the same location as your medical exam, but is considered a separate test. Failure to perform any part of the test correctly will make you ineligible for the job. Hashtag asterisk you will be asked to perform a kneel, stand test. You will assume several stances often used when firing a gun. With your arms extended as if you were pointing a firearm, you will make all 10 positions while maintaining proper posture. You will be expected to stay in a kneeling position for two minutes without interruption. The push-up test requires that you perform 15 push-ups in a two-minute time span. You cannot break from push-up position during the test, though you can rest if you maintain push-up position. Improperly performed push-ups will not count. The step test requires that you step on a 16-high step for a period of 5 minutes. You must do this at a cadence of 96 steps per minute. To measure your cadence, you will be expected to step in time with the beat of a CD that will played along with the test. You should wear appropriate athletic attire, including gym shorts, tee, shirt, water, and athletic shoes. 7. Undergo training. After receiving a job offer, you will be required to perform additional training. You will be paid during the training period. Image. Become an Immigration Officer Step 9.JPG Center. ICE Training is an intensive academy where basic law enforcement skills and immigration, specific knowledge are taught. 
You will learn, among other things, how to use a firearm, how to conduct searches, and the legal aspects of various immigration issues. Supplementary education will prepare you for your specific position and areas of interest. Additional training might include law enforcement and firearm skills, legal education, or even language instruction. 8. Continue to meet requirements after you accept your position. Your job has only begun. You will be required to maintain your firearm readiness and physical fitness. You must also be flexible when asked to move to a new location.